Intro! Welcome back to Minecraft, where I can confirm immediately, it's in, it's in the description for the previous one, that uh, I am not cheating. This world is legit. Nothing was modified. I did check. You have to go out of your way to modify things like ore counts before you start a world. It doesn't carry over from previous ones, so uh, all this stuff, legit. So, we're good, okay. Uh, so, first things first, uh, I'm thus not going to fling myself into the nether just to my death. Probably to my death, immediately. Uh, instead, I will spend a, a bit of time, unfortunately, farming. I'm into an even more boring section than mining in some ways. Which is that I've got to... Well, to be fair, the skeleton spawner will be a bit more interesting. Uh, I've, I've got to set up the skeleton spawner so that I can acquire a large amount of uh, arrows and, more importantly, bone meal. And um, I've got to expand our rather pathetic farm because look, my food bar is going down already and all I have on me is a golden apple. Well, I have another apple, but I'm not gonna waste that. Um, so honestly, that takes high priority because even just dealing with the skeleton spawner means that I can expand this at a rapid pace. And even if, um, even if I don't get enough seeds to, rip, um, to increase this area significantly, at least I'll get the wheat from it each time, so it's worth it. Okay, so uh, let me see if there was anything I left lying around before I do so. Uh, one iron ingot for some reason. Uh, maybe I put that away for flint and steel earlier or something. I, don't, I really don't remember. Um, so what am I going to do here? I think... Um, I should really just go and make the spawner now, to be honest. But I think... Oh, that's what I was thinking about. Uh, dirt. Yes, I was thinking about dirt. I'm going to collect a bit more as well. I'm going to make more of this area while I'm waiting for some of that to grow to see if I can get some bread before I leave. Um, so let's start from the top up here. And let's just clear a line of this dirt. I'll have to replace torches as I go. Yeah, th so this part is kind of boring, but it's necessary. So I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, what my plans are afterwards. Once I've set up food production and acquired a decent amount of arrows, uh, I'm going to... I'm going to mine some more, but I'm going to actually explore caverns. Which uh, is dangerous for me, but more entertaining to watch because it's dangerous for me. <laughs> but um, as a result, that means that uh, ideally I'm going to be finding spiders. Because I I'm going to stop going out of my way to avoid mobs underground, basically. <clears throat> because I want a bow as soon as possible. Ideally, I want a bow before I go to the nether. Because if I have a decent amount of arrows from the skeletons and a bow, one of my major concerns in the nether is uh, mitigated somewhat, and that is those damn ghasts. Uh, the ghasts aren't so much a danger because of the damage they can do to you. They're more of a danger because of the damage they do to the goddamn landscape. Because netherrack is absolutely the worst block imaginable when something is firing ex effectively explosive charges at you. <laughs> Especially if that netherrack only turns to be it turns out to be one or two blocks thick with a bloody 20 block drop into lava under it So I would really rather that not happen So if a gas appears, I'm going to fire arrows at it until it dies and ideally to do that I want to have enough arrows so Now I could make things like stairs here to conserve food, but actually the amount of time it would take would be disproportionately useless <laughs> Is, that's a poor way of putting it, but ba basically it's saying that uh, spending that amount of time on it is probably not worth it because the tiny amount of hunger jumping uses is really not worth it because we will, I know we're not there now, but we will get to the point where uh, food production is such that uh, I don't really need to think about food too much. All right, um, whoops, made this longer than the other ones, but it doesn't matter. Let's just do this for now. Let's connect these as well. I'm gonna make this all neat and tidy so that's easier to use. Um, I think I will actually make half slabs as well. <laughs> now I did I did say I'm not gonna waste time on trivialities, but this is highly convenient, especially when you're breaking things and just bloody falling into the water. So uh, what I will do is I grab a load of these and I will make half slabs. And the reason for this is uh, the Water will still keep the soil fertile, even if it's under half slab. So, by doing this, I do not have to worry about 
wading into the water and jumping out and then breaking seeds every time uh, I uh, break something and it drops into the water instead. And it'll also look make the area look more interesting. Okay, um, just gonna tidy it up a little bit. It doesn't terribly matter what it looks like. That's fine, that's efficient. Okay, where's my hoe? Where my hoe at? There it is. A little half, half slabs I don't need in my inventory now. I'll hold on to them for now. I don't like throwing things away at all, just in case I need them for literally anything later. But there is going to be a lot of items like that that I just never end up needing again. <laughs> so, that stack and a bit of uh, half slabs I made, I really am not going to end up needing that much. So this is a decent area for starters. Um, if I could even fill that much, it would be good. Uh, now I need to go down and deal with this uh, skeleton spawner like now because I have no food left. Um, and my hunger is going down already. Uh, I might mine as I go just to make this passageway a bit easier and I think I'll make stairs on the way back up. Uh, now unfortunately this is too... actually it is 2x2 two two here but I don't really need to do it 2x2. Two two. I can just do this. Which is the easiest thing to do. Uh, so what I'm going to do with the skeleton spawner is uh, I'm going to partially block it off and set it up such that skeletons uh, when I'm standing close enough will spawn walk towards me and uh, drop down a blocker. Um, I think two blocks? Uh, I'll figure out when I get there. Um, in such a manner that um, they can't see me because their face is blocked um, but I can see their feet so that I can just hack them to death and then pick up their items. That way they can't fire at me. So I am effectively making a genocide chamber for skeletons. Which is uh, interesting. <laughs> okay, so not too far off now. Uh, there is a possibility that something has spawned down here because I lit the area up but um, probably not perfectly. So I will be keeping an eye out just in case something tries to ambush me. I can see the uh, mossy cobble from this thing already. Okay, so, um, where do I want to set this up? Considering I could see it from this side, I could probably set it up over here. Um, can't I? I think so. Yeah, there we go. I could probably set up a way up to it over here. Um, so, basic premise, I've already explained. I'm going to have to remove this chest because it's just going to be in the way. I don't really want most of the items in it, though. Um, there actually is one thing I do want from in here, and that's actually this name tag, because I don't think about it, and if you name tag a villager, they don't despawn. And I might end up getting a villager later to um, try and get leather. Probably won't happen, but I'll attempt it anyway. I'm just going to throw some of this stuff away that I just don't need. Um, hmm. I do not need this many buckets anymore. There's <laughs> just no reason keep that on me. Uh, chest might be useful later. Throw the disc away. Saddle. Don't need the saddle. Water bucket is useful. It should be in my inventory at all times. Um, actually swap out the hoed for now for the cobblestone. Okay. Uh, so what I'm going to do uh, the room is still lit up for now. So let's figure out how I'm going to do this. Very simply, I want it set up so that they can only spawn in a particular area, which is in here, and that they're close enough when they spawn that the only thing they can do uh, is be aggroed by me when I'm standing close enough so that they'll definitely walk over. Um, no, I don't like that chest being there either. I'm going to break it as well. I'm just going to. Oh, God damn it. I'm just going to throw items down. I uh, don't want to do that. Let's let's just throw down the most useful, the useless things. All right. So I don't want granite. I don't want diorite. Did I just no? Okay. I thought I picked it straight back up for a moment there. Um, I'll keep the dirt just in case for now. I'll keep the sand. Keep the name tags. Um, I will throw away part of that stack. The andesite. Uh, horse armor. I'm never going to use. Horses, horses are just never going to spawn here. Saddles never going to use. Music disc I could use, but it's not useful, if you know what I mean, so I'm going to throw that away as well. It's getting kind of dark in here now. Didn't realise there was so much light coming from outside that uh, I didn't have my light on at all. Um, it's funny because I've got my curtains mostly closed. Uh, let's see. Uh, everything... Wait, what? Why is that not stacked? That's weird. I've got three name tags? What? <laughs> it's interesting. Okay, so, um, <clears throat> back to what I was doing here. Let's 
just try and set this up. Uh, this is probably going to be the main thing I do for now. Oh, I forgot this was the case over here. I just sealed this off, sort of. Whoops. Didn't mean to do it like that. I don't really want them spawning on the other side of the walls, the problem, but, um... It'll, it'll do for now. Okay, so, um... This here is where I'm going to get them to drop down. Uh, then I will have... Because hmm. I could just have blocks out. Hang on. I've got to widen this so that I can see what I'm doing properly. Oh, there goes my pick. I'll just use the diamond pick for now. It's fine. I don't actually need the diamond pick for anything other than normal mining now. Because uh, I've already set up my obsidian portal. Uh, I could use it to collect obsidian later for an enchantment table, obviously, but... You know, that's not a high priority right now. Because I need leather for a book before I can even do that. <laughs> so that's probably not going to happen terribly quickly. Um, so how do I do this again? I think I think I'm going to need those half slabs, I think, is what's going to happen here. Um, hmm. Trying to remember what the best way to do this is. Might have to go back one more again. And then set this up. I don't know. This is how I'm going to have to do it. Um, get rid of that. Don't know why this is confusing me. Um, this is actually more or less fine. The only problem is that they can currently see me from there. How is it that you're supposed to do it again? Am I meant to be another level higher? Am I meant to be on half slabs, maybe? Hang on. I'm pretty sure I'm doing this completely differently to the way uh, I meant to. <laughs> hmm. I don't think that's going to work. What What have I done? I'm, I'm very confused. Hang on. Let me, let me work this out backwards. <laughs> Apparently I'm stupid. Um, let's get in here. Okay, so skeletons... I'm oh, just going to get rid of this. I'm pretty sure it's just in the wrong place. Skeleton spawn, walk over here, drop down here. Okay, so that means that something needs to be at this level here to stop them walking forward. That's fine. Okay, so what was confusing me was where I'd set up my standing place, because that's fine, because I'm actually meant to be standing basically here. Yeah, there we go. Okay, because if I'm standing here and they drop down to here, um, there's almost no angle they can shoot me from there. Which means they'll stand here and I will hack them to death, which is fine. Actually, I can even get rid of this. And then this is the best place to stand. Because I can kill them there. Okay, um, so that's the basic premise. Um, it won't be massively as efficient as all that, but it'll do. Uh, actually, I can... Right next to the tunnel, I can actually just make a little stairway up into it. I forgot all this stuff is up here. Just block all this off. off. Okay. Um, right, so skelly spawners here. I'm actually going to seal off this area then, if that's going to be the case. Just because it doesn't make any difference, really. And they should be able to spawn now. Okay, so. Um, this is a tad risky, because they're all going to spawn as soon as I do this. But, um. I'll keep this in hand so I can do it. Yep, there's the spawn. Okay. Do you come over? You see me. You're not coming over. Hmm. How do I get you to come over? Maybe I set up a door? Oh, there we go. Okay, so the contraption works. That's fine. I got absolutely nothing off him. That's a nuisance. Um, so they will now spawn in there. Now I have to stop anything from spawning in where I am is the problem. So I don't particularly want them somehow spawning into here because that would be a nuisance. So I'm going to set up some light up here, light up there. So we're lit down here, but they will still spawn in there as normal. Okay, so this should work now. And I got some bone meal. Excellent. Um, just the one piece of bone for now. I'm going to stand around here for a couple of minutes and hope more spawn. <laughs> what I'm going to do is I'm going to do an inventory check while they're spawning. Um, right, so... Uh, is there anything else I'm going to need before I go to the nether? 
I could mine for some more diamond. I actually really don't need to. Um, even this much armor. You can see where the armor points go up to on the screen there. Um, uh, down here, obviously. Um, that's quite a lot of armor, honestly. And mostly you'll die from fire in the nether and burning. Uh, does pretty much the same amount of damage to you with or without armor on, so yeah. Yeah, this works. Oh, they're spawning at a decent rate now. They are firing at me, but they're not hitting me, so that's fine. Yeah, this is perfect. I've got 15 arrows already, another two bones. It's nine bone meal. Alright, I'll, I'll work with what i got now, for now, and I'll come back up later. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to make stairs so that I can uh, get up and down much quicker. That's not going to be enough. And this is why I was keen on collecting a load of cobblestone earlier, so that I would have this option. Actually, what I might do... No, that, that would require far too much work. Um, I'm going to use these for now. Uh, now, th this is partially to save my hunger, but it's actually mainly to make getting up and down here way quicker. Because I am filming only 30-minute uh, episodes at a time, so I want them to be uh, as, um, as action-packed as full, which means that jumping upstairs one at a time is not high in my list of priorities. Uh, okay, nearly there. Uh, hang on. I'm just going to seal this all together. Looks ugly. Uh, yeah. Actually, this might be enough. Maybe. Okay. Yeah, very nearly enough. I think it might stop a little bit before the top, but that doesn't matter. I probably won't even bother making more stairs if that's the case. I'll just make do. No, actually, this looks like... Yeah, perfect. Five spare. Okay, cool. Um... Here's an issue. This isn't lit yet. I should have thought about that. Uh, where are my slabs? There they are. Because aside from that, anything else, I think that uh, makes the um, wheat not grow. I think there's a light level issue. I've had that before. Uh, I'll do it back here as well. Just to make sure. Like this. Okay, so that area is sufficiently lit. Yeah, because that just grew immediately now, so I suspect that the reason it wasn't growing was it wasn't lit properly. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe I'm just unlucky. Okay, so. Do, 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 do. Well, that was sufficient. <laughs> that grew everything. Okay, so. Did I get return on investment? Yes, I did. So I can start expanding. Little by little. And the drop off those things. I'm probably going to make a mistake and drop off this onto that at some point and um, break a patch and be annoyed at myself, but it's fine for now. Okay, so I got nine. Yeah, don't have any spare, but that's fine. That's enough for three bread. That will get me back to full hunger, I think. Whoops. Yep, I think that's enough to get me back to full hunger, which is fantastic. Okay, so I'm probably going to go back down and uh, do that again while this is growing again. Sun's actually coming back up. Um, I could... Oh, actually, I'm going to light up this area some more because I'm surprised nothing spawned. Actually, there should, probably will be something spawned over here. No? Really? It's weird. <laughs> yeah. If I kill enough spiders, I will make a bed, but uh, that's actually not terribly likely to happen, so... Not high on my list of priorities, to be honest. I'll work through the night in normal cases. It's fine. I don't need it to be day most of the time, other than mobs not spawning. But because most of my island is lit anyway, that doesn't matter. Um, the reason I'm going back to the skelly spawner now and not going mining is I have... Yeah, I literally used up all the food I gained from that. Um, so I've got to go, go back down here and try and get a, a bit more out of it. There's one more skelly. Come on. Yeah, come on over here. There we go. Ooh, two for him. Just immediately. Uh, is there anything I need to equip here? I'm just going to put a pile of dirt in my inventory for the moment because I don't have... Um, uh, I don't have any cobble left because I used it all. I'm sure I've got more in the chest, but I'll pick it up later. It's fine. I'm already at 17 arrows, and I don't even have a use for arrows yet, so... This is clearly 
clearly a very, very convenient find. I am also, as it happens, getting levels from it, but that really won't be relevant for a long time. And unless I end up with a ridiculous amount of diamond, um, to, uh, it, it won't matter either, because the, even if I end up with one piece of leather from fishing, or trading or something, um, just making the enchantment table only allows me to make level 1 enchantments. Um, I could combine equipment. Um, I guess I could combine iron equipment. And Yeah, it's just not great, let's be honest. Because uh, combining diamond equipment to make the enchantments um, boost... Ooh, he managed to hit me. Um, sorry, to get the full benefit of the enchantments is super expensive in diamonds, so yeah. So much junk in my inventory now I don't need. Actually, you know what? This is perfect. This is now the storage spot for all the crap I don't need. Uh, I'll actually keep the name tags in here just in case I end up needing them. Keep a stack of dirt. Um, I'll, I'm going to collect more cobble in a moment anyway. I'll throw all these away. Keep this, obviously. I really don't need ten buckets. <laughs> in fact, I probably only need the one with water, to be honest, for the moment. I could grab a lava bucket, but I just... Actually, you know what? Yeah, sure. I'll do that. Just just to have it, I will get a book of lava. While I'm waiting for these guys to spawn more, that's actually exactly what I'm going to do. Okay, so, uh, give me one of these. There we go. Uh, I bet that lava is going to be the death of me now. What's going to happen is I'm going to eventually place it down by mistake, and I will walk into it and die. <laughs> Sounds exactly like the kind of way I die. Come on. The spawner is so good. I have 33 bone meal already. Come on, one more, one more. Come on. Give me like three skeletons. Three or four. That's one. Oh no, there's two. Okay. Come on. Oop. Okay, good enough. Okay, so I have 42 bone meal, so I really don't feel too bad about sprinting back up <laughs> to save a bit of time, because I've only got about 8 minutes left. Weeeeee, look how much faster that is. That's so much faster. And it didn't even use a bit of my hunger. Yet. Which is impressive. Okay, so. Let's go crazy with this. I'm gonna have to... Uh, grab the seeds as well. Um, what I might do to stop myself from standing on top of this shit is... Um, no, I'll, I'll do it in a minute. I'm not going to do it right now. Alright, so. Knew it would put it the wrong way around. It always does that. Okay. So now I can just mow away like this. Alright. So, that's fantastic. Already, I've got a pretty decent amount. Nothing spectacular, but... Ooh, damn it, I knew I was going to end up doing that. <laughs> I called it earlier. I did say I was going to end up doing that. Um, I've already got a pretty decent amount of uh, seeds out of this. I think I lost the wheat from doing that as well. God damn it, I did it again! <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm definitely going to have to... Do what I was thinking. You'll see, you'll see what it is in a moment. I'm just gonna do a bit more of this. Three, four. Bone meal this twice. Break that. Okay, so that's how much we have for now. I've done a weird pattern. I don't know. I've done that. Okay. Um, I need more cobble because that's the easiest thing to do this with. So let's get a stack of cobble. Okay. So what I'm thinking is, boom. 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 Okay. Yeah, that will stop me from doing that. And I'll make it into some sort of structure afterwards. I just don't want to be able to stand on top of those, because every time I do, I fall straight off and break something. So, yeah. Uh, what I might do is just make it so that I have to walk through the rows. Uh, yeah, it's not that bad. That's not a bad idea. Let's do that. 
It will make this look a little bit fugly, but I, re I really don't care. <laughs> it's functional. Because what I'm going to be doing is walking up and down the rows, planting and replacing anyway, so I might as well make that a bit more efficient. Um, I actually want some more of those half slabs, half slabs, so... Oh, I put them all away. God damn it. Now I've got to make more, which is so wasteful. Um, I'm only going to make a couple more. That's a wall. <laughs> Six, really? Alright, fine. More than enough. Uh, it's because I'm going to put torches on them. I don't need these corner ones, so don't, probably don't need this one either. Put one up here. Up here. I realise I, I am delving into the point where I'm making things look pretty again, instead of uh, doing anything practical, but um, this is for the sake of fast farming later. So, yeah. Now, I'm sure someone will say, oh, but you could make an automatic farm. I could. I won't. <laughs> Far too much effort. That is good enough. Because what will happen now is I can walk down through it, mow across and across and across, and yeah, okay, fine, done. That's all I'm doing. I'm actually going to get this out of the way so that I don't uh, make that mistake again. I just don't want there to be the possibility of me jumping on seeds again by mistake. Okay, good enough. Looks really fuggly, but I do not care. Okay, so, what have I got? I've got 18 wheat, which is 6 bread. Good. That is probably enough to go mining with, because I'm not going to burn through hunger that quickly. So, uh, that's how I want my hotbar, I think. And I'm going to throw some of this stuff away. I'll keep this on me just in case I need to make a golden apple. I don't really need the stack of dirt, so I won't take that with me. I'm going to end up with a little cobble anyway. I don't need any of this stuff, I don't think. Nope, okay, so I'm good to go mining. I'm going to go down and start mining, and then I'm going to cut off for today, I think. Well, I might actually plant some more sugarcane. I don't think I need even as much sugarcane as I'm producing. I think I might just start storing it, to be honest. Because it, it is, obviously, so that you can make books later, but without cows, it's kind of a moot point, because it's super hard to get leather. I think there's a 1% chance of you fishing leather out uh, if you're using a fishing rod. And that's just not high enough to justify that much sugar cane. <laughs> Alright, so. Let's go down to the mine. And then end off with there, I think. If I could find some spiders now, that would be great. Well, actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start exploring that cavern that I found. Uh, I'm going to have to be very careful about how I do so, though, so I don't get lost. Because if I get lost, it's going to be a nightmare. <laughs> Alright. I could memorize the coordinates, but I'm not going to do that right now. Now I've got a stack of cobble. Excellent. Do I need the wood? No, I don't need the wood. Okay, so. What if anything has spawned in here? Hello? Yep. Ow. Rude. Anything else? No. Okay. Let's get rid of this area so I can explore it. Because I do not want to burn to death, so. Oh, this is the other side of... <laughs> this is the... Whoops. Really? Glitchy. This is the other side of that lava lake there that uh, I, f I found elsewhere. I I took um, a load of the lava to make the lender portal, so... That's what this is. Set up one of these here. Some redstone down here. Hooray. I'm just going to collect it for the XP. I really don't need it. Actually, I think I'm going to start passing up redstone because there's... Even for the XP, it's not really worth collecting at this point. It's not terribly efficient. The reason why I'm getting rid of every last bit of lava is very often the reason I die is being knocked into a one by one hole of lava and not swimming out of it fast enough. So, yeah. Just not leaving that possibility to happen. And now we can make another golden apple, which is fantastic. Hopefully we uh, will not need to use any of them until we get to, well, at least the dragon, but uh, yeah, it's it's good to have. I don't really need to collect coal at this point either. I'll just collect it when I run low. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. 
Uh, I'm gonna make it obvious where I came from. Do 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 do. Okay, so that's pretty obvious. <laughs> really? That's exactly what I mean. I wasn't looking where I was walking. If that was full of lava now, that would be me. Well, well, maybe not dead. I've got a water bucket in my inventory, but I would be in a lot of trouble. So, uh, we're at the 30 minute mark, so I'm going to make myself a little nest up here and then and then uh, sign off. The idea being to continue. Oh, really? How about thee? The idea being to continue exploring the moment I get back. Just gonna do this. I realize I've gone very slightly over time, but it, it doesn't matter that much. Should not matter too much. So I spent the first minute talking anyway. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna i I'm gonna seal myself in over here. Just so that when I spawn in I don't die. <laughs> uh, I kind of wanted it to be obvious I came from down there. There we go. Okay, so that's where we're gonna end off. Hiding in this little hole. And when we get back we will do some more mining until we find uh, a bit maybe a bit more diamond. And then go back, grow some more wheat. And once we have between 10 and 20 food, maybe, we'll risk the nether.